we weren't sure whether we would get the season off in full, but here we are. Middle of January for the 5A Division I State Championship game. It's State Championship Friday for the Ryan Raiders. Love you. A place they've been before. Two seconds left. Up in the air, off the hands of Drew Sanders. That's it. Game over. Shadow Creek wins by a fingertip. But it became obvious early that this trip to the finals would be different. He stays in touchdown. bounds. Touchdown. Touchdown. You called it, John. Oh, Seth Hennigan, man. Oh, my word. It was the best feeling ever when it happened, and it still is. You know, we're still kind of taking it in, like sitting back, you know. We really just won that. I mean, you, people will come in the hallways and be like, oh, you did a great job, or uh, congratulations, and you're just like, we really just won the state championship. Like, that's it's such a big deal to us, and we feel great about it. Yeah, you imagine yourself winning it. You imagine yourself, like, holding up the trophy. But then, like, when you actually, like, when, after, when the game's over, and then you have that feeling like, dog, we just won that thing. And it's, it's just an amazing feeling. Can't even explain, to be honest, man. Going out our last high school game as a Ryan Raider, getting a championship for not only ourselves, our coaches, previous players, teammates, man, it just felt, putting on for the city, felt amazing. The Raiders showed just how amazing in ways you would expect. There was yelling. Stay champs, baby! Stay champs! And dancing. Hey, hey. And smiles everywhere you turn. But there was also something you don't see during every championship celebration. These kids were happy for themselves, but they seemed even happier for guys that didn't play it down all season. Our coaches play such a big part in what we do. Uh, they're, they're so important to us, and so we feel like, I mean, obviously it's important for us that we win the state championship, but obviously for our coaches, it's, it's a big deal for them as well. And it's, like, it's like a second family feeling. Like, like our coaches, like our father figures, like our second father figures. If some of us don't got father figures, they are our father figures. These kids, uh, these coaches, they take care of each other, and they they have a legitimate uh, interest in each other, and they develop relationships, uh, genuine relationships, uh, for each other. And you know, and, and when you when you experience that uh, win uh, on that stage, I think that uh, that genuine uh, love for each other shows. That may be the secret to the 2020 Ryan Raider success. Sure, they were able to make plays, but the real reason they won can be a little harder to see. Everybody wants to talk about talent. There's, there's no arguing the fact that we have talent, uh, in there, but there's talented teams all over the state um, and that, that haven't experienced the success that we've experienced. And, I, and I, it's a direct correlation to what our coaching staff uh, pours into these kids and how this school pours into these commit into these kids, um, you know, teachers, counselors, administrators, and then in the end result is something special. Just getting one just feels amazing to win this with my brothers and to see all of us go to college next year, split ways. I know we're going to keep in touch, but for all of us just to go to college and do what we're supposed to do. It was Honestly, some of the best four years of my life playing football. I, I, we enjoyed coming to practice. We enjoyed playing in games. We, we enjoyed being in the locker room. Just, I mean, sitting here, we could be doing nothing, and we just enjoyed our time together. Uh, I think that's going to be one of the hardest things about, you know, leaving this place. We have a saying around here uh, that you get better, you get worse. You never stay the same. And, you know, and that's a lesson that we are constantly trying to teach these uh, young men is that uh, if you come and you go to work every single day, um, and you are trying to improve, whether it's as a football player, or as a student, or then ultimately as a husband, a father, a, a positive member of our community, whatever it is, if you're trying to get better every day, then you're gonna be successful.